do you ever find yourself like sort of juggling a lot of things like musical sort of endeavors and struggling to keep them up? Yeah. Uh, being, being someone who's, uh, very involved in both metal and country that it does become a problem. You know, everybody kind of, at least when you provide a service, you know, there's like a, a rule of thumb that most entrepreneurs will tell you or, or through your reading, you know, you'll come across and that's to niche down and become really good at one thing. A lot of people preach that over and over. And while it's very true, I've always kind of wanted to be someone or wanted to work towards being someone who um, could be that, that person for two things instead of just one thing. Um, and that's, it's hard to do. I don't, you know, I, I don't know many people that, that have done it. So part of me some days is like, maybe I should just start picking one and, and just stick to that so that people um, looking up my work or whatever, will see that that's what I do. That's what I specialize in and, and be more confident rather than someone who's wanting to work with me for a country, uh, looking at my metal stuff and wondering if I really do country enough or whatever. So that is, that does uh, kind of create an issue sometimes, but I would love in a perfect world to, to definitely specialize in those two things rather than, than having to niche down and um, pick one thing out of the bunch, you know, country and metal for sure. Yeah. Cause I was kind of um, one of the questions that I sort of wrote down for you was like for musicians that are sort of maybe umming and ahhing about where they want to take their pursuits, whatever that might be, whether it's like production, session work, creating, you know, education, whatever, there's loads of things. And I, I find I'm kind of teetering on the edge of loads of these different things. Um, what would your advice be to anyone that's kind of uh, maybe not sure what musical career path they want to kind of follow? Um. I guess in some ways I'm going to be talking to myself on this one because the, there's days where I definitely don't know what exactly I want to do. Some days I, I want to keep doing the studio stuff. Some days I want to, uh, uh, you know, just, just do the touring uh, musician thing for a while. So I would say, at least in my experience, the thing that's been best for me is to try them, try as many of those things out as you can. Um, some of which are harder to do, like finding a touring gig, uh, as a musician or doing session guitar stuff, but, uh, do what you can to, to, to kind of get a feel for what that's like. Even if it's instead of a real tour, it's just a three or four day run or something somewhere. Or, um, even if it's not a real like session guitar gig or something, um, find a group of friends that's writing some songs as a hobby for fun and ask them, Hey, can I come play guitar on it or something? Just find a way to kind of get that experience and see what you enjoy the most. Um, that's kind of what I've done. And, and I, I actually keep thinking of it that way. The more and more I do each of those things and it kind of readjusts my, uh, opinion on what I want to do at some points entirely. Some weeks, like I said, I want to do this more than the other. So, uh, it's good to kind of, do different things, I guess, just try them out. And you're, you know, you might enjoy one thing more than the other at some point, but, um, kind of keep all your eggs in the basket, I guess. 